All right, welcome y'all to this Amazon live stream about the new solar PoE products we've launched here on Amazon. We've had an interesting history with solar powered PoE. And just so you know, this topic has come up uh, repeatedly for us. We're finding more and more people are cutting the cord when it comes to solar power and they're using their ethernet cables in more and more interesting ways. Uh, for example, just a few months ago, we had a popular YouTuber, Jason Johnston. Uh, Jason Johnston from Ham Radio 2.0 on our show, talking about how ham radio operators are using PoE for their ham net. It's called Ardnet. And uh, imagine like a, a dark net that runs silently in the background that you never knew was there. Uh, but instead of stealing things, they chat with each other, they track the weather, and they help out when there's natural disasters by helping people get in contact. They're really, really cool people. So uh, if you want, go back and watch that show. It's on YouTube. You can find it on our YouTube Live channel and where we talk to Jason about what they're doing with ham radio operators. Now, here's the cool thing. At about a minute 42... So 42 minutes into the show, the ham radio operators threw down a challenge for me to up our game on our solar PoE products and our PoE Pi Hat products by making a PoE Pi Hat for solar and battery applications. And we did it right here. Um, and the PoE Pi Hat is now on Amazon ready to go. But I don't want to ruin the whole show. So why don't we just dive in to the show where I'm going to be talking about solar and power over Ethernet. Hey everyone, Tyler Andrews here, the head nerd at PoE Texas. And today I'm going to demonstrate two very cool products, both of them are right here, uh, that you can use with a wide range of power input that you would get from solar panels and batteries all over one ethernet cable. I think it's very cool. So let's dive in to the whole show. First though, I wanted, while you guys are getting your questions in, I want to tee up the problem for you. So um, the problem is about solar power. If you're new to solar, even if you know just a little bit about solar, using solar power is more than just throwing a couple solar panels up and plugging in your device. The, uh, the sun doesn't just stay in one spot in the sky. Actually, you know, to be truly technical about it, we don't stay in one spot around the sun. And yeah, technically, we're all hurtling through the void of space with the sun at nearly the speed of light relative to other galaxies. But, you know, I'm getting into too many details. What you need to know is because the power we can harvest from the sun changes with weather, time of day, and time of year, you have to take a few extra steps. And I'm going to cover those with you today. First step, get rid of that, bring this up. You need to pick a solar panel big enough to power your devices and store a bit of extra energy for when the sun isn't as bright. Now, how do you do this? First, you need to calculate how much power you need for your device. For that, I'm going to recommend you check out our PoE calculator. It's on the App Store. It's on the Google Play Store. Just type in PoE calculator. It will help you figure out what kind of PoE you're using. It'll help you figure out what kind of power you need. And that will help you figure out how much power you want. I'll give you a great example. Raspberry Pi draws about 12 to 13 watts. A typical bullet camera that you're using is anywhere from 5, five to 8 watts. Um, but what you want to do is you want to gather the, all that information together and calculate your total load that you want to be running on your solar panel. Next, you, uh, you need to size your panels and figure out how much battery, how, many, how big a battery you need for the system. 
Now, I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of math. Instead, I'm going to point you to these guys um, who have made a resource that's much smarter than myself. Um, these guys at Sunwise have a design table calculator, and you can see it operating where it's got charts where you can just put in your data about where you are, both state and city, how much power you need, how much power you need for your components, whether you're doing 12 volts or 24 volt battery power, pop, outspits a system parameters for you. And that makes it really easy and fast to come up with your uh, the system that you need for your application. Then finally, let's uh, switch over here. Um, the final part of your design you'll need to get are batteries. Uh, with a solar system, what you're actually going to be doing is putting solar panels in to charge batteries, and the batteries will power all of your devices. But here's the thing. Batteries don't put out steady power. All batteries have a curve where they start out at higher voltages than when the battery is fully charged. Then, as the battery discharges, the voltage drops. So when you pick a solar or battery system, for that matter, uh, you need to make sure that the devices you connect to the system can handle the range of voltages. Uh, typically, that range uh, goes from about 12 volts up to 30 volts. Some battery systems will go even higher. Unfortunately, uh, computers and networking devices and cameras can be a little sensitive to voltage ranges. If you have too low power or too high power, pop, you let out the magic blue smoke and your device doesn't work anymore. So what we've done here at Pee Wee Texas and what I'm showing on the show today is that we can bring you two devices that can handle a wide range of input power and output steady power for your device. First, I am going to bring up the PoE Hi-Hat. Um, like I mentioned before, when we were talking to the ham radio operators, they pointed out that customers are using both solar power and things like truck batteries to run the Raspberry Pis. And there are all kinds of very exciting applications from weather stations to servers where you may need to have your Pi running on a battery. But Raspberry Pis are notoriously picky about the 5 volt power they get. Have you ever gotten the little lightning bolt in the corner on your Raspberry Pi? It comes up something right around there. It's a pain. So um, that is where we've done this POE Pi hat. But this is it. It's this, uh, and I'll hold it up here. It's this little blue guy. In fact, I've got a whole demo. And um, why don't I bring that up for you? So uh, what you can see is we're going to power this Raspberry Pi starting on 30 volts of power. And then we're going to draw, connect it with just a simple PoE injector. And with that injector, we plug it into the Pi. You can see the light is coming up. And I'm going to pause it here for the light is coming up. And now we're going to measure the volts uh, going into the Pi. Moving the teleprompter here, and you can see we're getting five volts of power, which is what you want from your for your Raspberry Pi. Now we're going to drop it down to twelve volts. Yep, just turning it down. Here we go. And what you're going to see is that even when we get to five volts or twelve volts, the PoE Pi hat, which is this, and I am going to pull it off here for you. Just this little blue board, it's still putting out five volts of power. So um, you can get a wide range of power on your input and use what's cool is that you can you don't have to have a separate connector on the outside of your Pi. It goes in through the network port. You can have one connection that's very cool, and you'll get a steady five volt power source. Now, put up a big warning. Um, the Raspberry Pi 
itself on the board has a little transformer and that transformer is what takes the power over ethernet off the network cable and puts it on the pi board and it's really only rated to 12 watts of power now unfortunately your raspberry pi can draw up to 15 watts of power so what that means is if you did and, and normally it's not a problem if you're doing anything uh, above 12 volts but 12 volt power drawing 15 watts you can actually burn out your NIC card and, and unfortunately that's on the Raspberry Pi it's not on our device our device can handle it um, but what that means is is that we recommend you use at least 15 volts incoming power or you make sure you regulate your Pi so that you don't draw more than 12 watts of power uh, and, uh, and by the way, if you're watching, and I'll throw these up again later, I'm putting up a discount code for those of you who um, are interested in giving any of the products that I'm talking about today a trial run. There's a 10% discount code right here you can use at checkout on Amazon for this product. And uh, so why don't we, I'm going to show you the demo here. Uh, and, and you can see. The product is designed to be DIN rail mounted, which makes it easy to throw into a cabinet if you're out in the field, uh, if it goes into a cabinet away from things. And now we're going to try and power it up with 30 volt power. And that represents, you know, a battery that's fully charged, been charging all day, and uh, it's, it's fully charged. What you'll see is it'll come up right at 55 volts. So it's 56 volts, really a nominal difference there. And then we're going to now drop the input voltage to 12 volts. So imagine during the day or during the night, the batteries have been discharging. You saw that battery dropping down, and as it discharges overnight, you're down at 12 volts. Well, now you can still plug it into this, uh, this injector, and you will get a steady 56 volts or your mimosa, your camera, whatever you need. What do you want to know? Uh, what questions do you have for me on any of these products that we talked about today? Um, and if you're new to us, we actually do have, if, if you're saying, well, Tyler, this is your passive PoE that takes 12 to 30 volts. What about a regular PoE Pi Hat? We do have one. Uh, and when you bring up this listing on Amazon, you'll find the same. It's on the same listing as a variation. It's very handy to have. You can see the discount for the PoE Pi hat, the discount for this guy, which is our uh, injector. This is a solar powered injector that we're doing. I'm just going to say, guys, this has been great. You know, I, I love doing this show because, frankly, I love nerding out on things like Raspberry Pis, um, solar power. I get a real kick out of them. You give them a trial run. Hit the uh, hit the discount code that I'm showing below. I'll flash it up one more time in case you guys missed it. And um, pick one of these guys up today. Give it a spin. Tell us in the comments on the listing what you think. Like it or hate it? We want to know. We want to know what's important for you and what works for you guys. Here's what I will say, just in conclusion. If you find our show interesting or helpful, Share it with your friends and colleagues. Tell people about it. Um, and even share it with your customers. Hit that share button uh, when you find out about us. And when we announce this on our Amazon channel, you might be shocked to find out that sharing shows like this on your social channels with your customers and partners will increase your own reputation as an expert and can help you grow your business. Um, and we're gonna, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we're doing in December that will especially help grow your business. We'll be back in December to launch a whole new product that will use UPOE or IEEE 802.3 BT Power 4. Bam! A Nook. So uh, we're going to be powering Nooks with PoE in December. So don't miss it. And we'll see you all at the next live show. Thanks for coming. Y'all have a great Thanksgiving. Enjoy the turkey and get a good nap for me.